Here are we at Brookwood Cemetery. Uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Very hot here, extremely hot. You might be able to hear the cicadas in the distance, up in the trees. A lot of old headstones. These are the headstones, or most of them, are, were uh, relocated to this spot back in the early 1900s or something like that, I think, uh, from Central uh, Railway Station, where before Central Railway Station was built. So as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of graves here. In fact, it's uh, the biggest cemetery in the Southern Hemisphere, Rookwood Cemetery. It just goes on. You can get lost here quite easily. Yeah, as you can see, there's a dirt pile over there. They dig it. They dig in my grave at the moment. As you can see, there's a lot. I know it's a lot of dirt. It's a big hole. It's take me and all my money. Just joking. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah. So some of the uh, inscriptions here are really fascinating, and it's sad in a way that a lot of people here really didn't live that long. Uh, We'll come up to this one and have a look. As you can see, that one here, this is one of the graves that's been really relocated to here. So the actual soil itself is is not that sturdy or not that sound. Uh, yeah, that one there, I don't even know this person, but yeah. Looks like a, there's a few people there. Quite a few people. It's very quiet here as well. Very quiet. Well, I didn't expect it to be that much noise coming from the dead. But uh, it just goes on and on and on. Some of the headstones are really fascinating. It's very hot here today. Extremely hot. I like some of the, the sandstone material, whatever they've used back in the early days. That's a beautiful material, beautiful stone that one, if you look at it. It's carved out so nicely and it's, it doesn't look like a, it's that old, but it is very old. Not long. It's, the date's on it somewhere there. <laughs> somewhere there, there's the date. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's very nice. And some have just left. What really damages the graves around here, the headstones, that are trees. The trees that grow and they sort of uproot the headstones and push the sides over, as you can see in this case. It's, uh, it's cracked a lot of the stuff and it's really made a mess of the grave beside it. But, uh, they shouldn't be allowed to grow trees, especially near the grave sites. Uh, it's, uh, where's that, uh, it's a jet taking it from Sydney, an aeroplane taking it from Sydney Airport. Oh, wow. Oh, this oh, wow. The Townsend Grave. The Townsend Grave. We're related to them, maybe. <sighs> Townsend, yeah. I don't know. I'll take a photo of this one and uh, look that one up. Who knows? Yeah. Flowers. Don't know what it is though. It's a nice flower. So it gives some beauty to this barren place. That's unfortunately it's all broken off. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of them's fallen over. It's unfortunate, but there are some beautiful grave sites, grave sites around here where. Uh, the headstones have really, really kept well. But in this area where there's a lot of trees, it's really done a lot of damage to the grave sites over the years. It's such a shame. Hmm. Anyway, I'll, I'll get into the shade. Ooh, what was that? It's a big bird. Is it? What is it, an eagle? No, two black Oh, big black cockatoos. Oh, the black cockatoos, where are they? Where are they? They're in the... Taken off. Yeah. Hmm. Two black cockatoos. There's a sign there. Don't yeah, often see them. People in that grave. 
they're the largest of the parrot family the yeah they are not the white ones but the black ones it's shady here very nice anyway thank you for uh, sharing this moment with me i thought i'd share this moment with you as well and uh i'll catch up with you all later